I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi, summarized by Bukola Odedei and voiced by Uyo Uyo. I had lofty goals for my life when I got my first post-college job, at least one exotic vacation in my first year, my own home, a new car and so on. I dreamt of a better life to be made possible, of course, with my income from my job. Then, reality sets in. As each month ends and salary was paid into my account, the money, well, it just disappeared mysteriously. <laughs> Seriously though, the money might as well have disappeared for all the effect I got from it. By the end of my deadline, I realized that I did not achieve any of my dreams, majorly because I was dreaming of a better life. I wasn't doing anything to make the dream happen. I was busy spending my money on anything that caught my fancy and used pay rise as an opportunity to increase my cost of living. If you find yourself in my shoe, you have two options. You can either blame the government, the economy or your parents for your failure or identify the habits that make you fail. The first major lesson from I will teach you to be rich is, do not make excuses, blame others or feel guilty about your financial position. Instead. Identify the habits that have brought you to this state and gradually start to change it. By the way, if this is your first time on our channel, welcome and consider subscribing because we will help you to discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. Let's move to the second lesson. Is it more important to get a bigger apartment or pay for a trip to Tokyo? or even vacation on a ship cruise. Hmm. The truth is, any of these items can be important or not. That totally depends on you to select which of them will give you the greatest benefit. The simple skill taught in this book is about having a life goal and then devoting all your financial strength to make it happen. Knowing exactly what you want to see in your life makes it easier to spend your money on the right things. The second major lesson from I will teach you to be rich is, decide what is important to you and then focus your time and finances on achieving that goal. How easy do you find making your credit card payments? Insurance? How easy do you find spending the exact percentage of your income that you've resolved to spend? See, it's never easy doing the right things once cash is in your grasp. <laughs> so, what can help you to actualize your financial resolutions? Technology to the rescue. Simply automate. Just set up an instruction with your bank to debit specific amounts from your account. The date should be at the exact time that your income is paid into your account. With that plan in place, your insurance premiums, personal savings, utilities and the likes will be paid from your account without you lifting a finger again. And this magic will be repeated monthly. This way, you won't see a percentage of your money and you won't be tempted to buy new and flashy stuff. The third major lesson from I will teach you to be rich is, automate your savings and bills payment so that you will be more disciplined with money. I tried computing how much fees was charged on my current account in the past one year and the results blew off my mind. It is normal though, banks and other financial institutions make their money by charging on services rendered. My account is no exception. Charging fees is good for the bank, but not for me or you. The solution is easy and is the fourth major lesson of the book I will teach you to be rich. Convert your personal savings into a non-fee paying account if that's possible in your country. For a long time, I believed that I simply wasn't good enough. I procrastinated on taking actions on what needed to be done. I thought that what I knew wasn't good enough. People would laugh at me if I go ahead to do what was in my mind. I believed that what I needed was more training before I can execute my plans. Anytime I heard of a new way to achieve my aims, I jumped at it but always ended up assuring myself that such opportunities were not for fellows like me, that there is no way I can do it on my own and succeed. Again, I felt I needed professional help. Help then was to be in form of a highly priced course or coach which in reality I couldn't afford. 
I'm sure you know people like that. People that have lofty plans but always ended up not realizing any of them. It was a sad experience. It took me a long while to realize that while getting a professional training is good, it will not solve my problems. I first needed to convince myself that I was smart enough to succeed at the task that I set out to do and that it is good, advisable even, to start my projects small and then grow them gradually. So many people in our world today are waiting till the time is perfect. Unfortunately, time may never be perfect. The fifth major lesson in Ramit Sethi's book is, when it comes to achieving your financial goals, you have to take actions. Start where you are with what you have. Now, let's discuss. What lessons do you think I missed in this book? What points would you like to add? Which other good books would you like our team to summarize next? We love to receive your comments. If you love this summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we'll help you to discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. Kindly check the description box to download our free book titled 13 Secrets School Did Not Teach You About How To Be Rich. We love you.